just got to the stand, I came in, jumped three deer on the way in. And I, as I was setting up, I heard a deer come in. And this raghorn three-pointer, he's got a, a bladed spike on one side and a fork on the other. He came in and he, and he came to like 20 yards. And I shot and took air off the bottom of his chest. And he spun around, started to walk away, and then he came back. I pulled out another arrow and made a real good shot on him the second time. The first arrow just cut, cut air off the bottom of his chest. <laughs> it's November the 9th. I've hunted almost every single day, and that's only the third deer in Connecticut I've had a shot at. Um, he's just a raghorn, but I have two packages of venison left, so... <laughs> Feels good. Feels good. Okay. It's like the shortest hunt ever. I was in the stand for about 30 seconds when I heard that deer coming. Here's the stand. Up there. It's an old, old steel stand, but we'll go down and pick up the arrows and uh, use the camera so I'm go down. So I'll just go right over to him. There's the first arrow. There's all the hair that I took off the underneath of them. And the other arrow is down here. That's the arrow that did the job. I uh, I don't know if the camera got the miss. Um, I don't know if you call it a miss. Maybe you nicked him. <laughs> but uh, he uh, he ran he ran away a little bit, jumped away, and then walked back about three yards farther. There's the first arrow and all the hair. The second arrow covered in blood. And I can see my deer laying down right over there. Let's go check them out. I've got my arrows collected in the quiver. So let's go get the deer. It's good blood. That, that buck was rutted up, didn't know what hit him. First shot, typical this time of year. First shot, takes hair off him, just jumps a little bit, goes right back to smelling the ground, and uh, second arrow did the trick. That's where he was standing, and uh, I wear glasses now. When I first started making videos, I, uh, didn't have a gray hair on my head. Didn't have any kids, wasn't married. Didn't even own a house. And now, uh, gray hair, fat and old, and I uh, can't see. So I had the deer on the camera standing there after the hit, after he ran about 60 yards. And you can see him for a second in the film and then I zoom past him because I'm uh, so blind now. I can't can't read the camera. I'm good at distance, but up close, I can't see, so. But the buck's right over here. All right. Nice clean kill. Boat out. Three pointer. Yep. Good hit. That's nice. So the cool thing about this is there's still an hour of uh, still an hour of light left. So I get to uh, get them gutted out, get them out of the woods in daylight, and. Uh, We'll bring them down the yard and uh, show the guys. And it's been a slow season, slow season for everybody. Uh, I've hunted basically every day. It's November 9th, and um, 
I passed up a spike horn, had a shot at a mature doe and took it, and then now this deer. And I've only seen like four other deer, uh, seven, seven other deer, sorry, seven other deer from the stand um, at a distance. Um, I'm not even getting pictures of uh, deer. I mean, it's, it's slow. A lot of acorns this year, our numbers are down, but uh, very thankful, very, very thankful. These are some of the best eaten animals in the woods, the young bucks, so we will uh, we'll get them home and get them processed and we won't go hungry for venison. Not for another month anyways. The kids gobbled up that first big doe in, uh, in a month. So, very thankful, very, very thankful. Just uh, love hunting with the traditional bow.